Hi, welcome to HMM model decoding problem. The decoding problem can be solved by Viterbi algorithm. The decoding is the process of finding the hidden state sequence from the sequence of observations. So here the algorithm will be started with initialization, sta initialization state uh, from the start state. So here this is the start state. Um, we have to uh, start the initialization from start state to next state. So this example is ice cream sales prediction uh, based upon the hidden state sequence either the day is hot. If the day is hot, what is the ice cream state uh, ice cream sales sales uh, if the day is cold what is the ice cream sales so here the hidden state is uh, ab uh, able to find out by using the uh, Viterbi algorithm from the state of observa observation sequences so now uh, the initial state value is uh, given uh, pi, uh, with uh, pi so this is the pi initial state with this one and there is the emission probability when it is moving to the another state so here there is the emission probability 0 0.8 here also the 0 0.2 state transition probability state transition probability which is given so here bt of o t in the sense state observation likelihood uh, that reaches to the particular state once it reaches to the particular state it will get some observation that means observation means eating the ice creams number of ice creams okay and uh, aij in the sense transition probability from previous state to current state that means uh, we may say qi given qj or we can say uh, qi given qi minus 1 right so now uh, we have to do this process for uh, all the states recursively. Uh, so we have to find out the path from one state to another state. So here there is the uh, dif different states are there. So we have to use the um, transition based upon this probability values. So uh, in that we have to identify the maximum over all the paths. For example, you see uh, here. Uh, we are having uh, two paths, okay, two paths here for the state H. So from this, we should select maximum uh, value of, of these two paths. So that's what given here, right? Uh, so after taking the uh, maximum path value, we can use that value to move into the uh, next state by predicting the previous state. So here the uh, BT of BT1 of J is here emission probability. Once you reach the particular state, uh, then you will get transition value and also emission value. You have to multiply these values. Okay. So here we will use this step for calculating the probability values of each and every state. Finally, we will calculate the maximum probability value by using the state sequence now we will see step by step so the same thing given here uh, probability of a matrix better be n is here uh, the length of the uh, graph and uh, t is here number of observations initialization step we have to use the initialization values probability values and after reaching the state particular state we will get some observations so that is calculated multiplication okay we will see that later in the uh, calculation then uh, we will uh, use the back pointer is uh, state one is zero then we will do this for all the state sequence we will give some three one three is the pattern so for this observation we have to identify the state sequence that may be hot or cold the second pattern also may be given hot or cold the third uh, pattern also may give hot or cold so we have to identify which is the state uh, so we have to move from as uh, this state from initially we, we, we were in start state initially we were in start state so we have to move from 2 to this n or oh, that is the meaning 2 to t time period okay time period is here 3 uh, right so here we will length of the observations length of the observations is 3 right so we have to move that so now for each state we have to move this is the first state first state second state and third state we have to move right uh, so when you are moving you have to use the previous probability value 
and a state transition value and emission value so from this you have to select maximum value as i told here we have to select maximum value among the different paths okay that's what given here so based upon that we will calculate the back pointer also to move into the next state so here once you calculated all the values you can find out the maximum probability after reaching the maximum probability you can stop the algorithm so here also for the best path for the best path you will calculate the maximum probability right so now we will see that one by one first we will move from initial state to uh, two states are possible you may move to the cold state or you may move to the hot state so based upon that we will do that uh, from start state we will assume we first we are moving to the hot uh, cold state so if it is the cold state so probability of moving from start to cold that can be denoted with probability of cold given start this is the current state qi given qi minus 1 okay so start state after reaching the cold state then there is the pattern three ice creams consumed so probability of three given cold probability of three given cold then values are substituted as per given in this structure probability of three given cold is 0 0.1 so that's what given here 0 0.1 so value is given like that the first day may be a hot also oh, for that we should calculate the probability value so we are uh, the person is moving from start to hot state so when it is moving to the hot state so probability of current state is hot from previous state is start so probability of hot given start once he reached the hot there is the pattern three ice creams will be consumed probability of three given hot right probability of three given hot and we have we should uh, substitute the values from this probability of three given hot 0 0.4 so 0 0.4 and this is initial probability this one from start to hot state 0 0.8 so we got the value 0 0.32 now the first day pattern is over second day pattern we have to calculate so for that here first we will take uh, we, we, uh, from the first day it is moving to the uh, cold state so here v21 we to calculate so v2 of 1 here two possibilities are there uh, the first day may be hot or cold the car, even it is hot he will uh, the second day may be a cold even if first day may be a cold second day may be also cold so we have to take uh, all the probabilities so we are taking the first one so v11 and from moving to cold first day also cold second day also cold so probability of cold given cold so v1 of 1 probability of cold given cold after reaching the cold state there is the pattern one observation one given cold probability of one given cold then comma okay next path next path is this one right so probability of uh, cold given hot and this is v12 so v12 right so here this one v12 probability of cold given hot then after reaching the hot state we have uh, sorry uh, probability of cold given hot uh, after reaching the cold state it has to consume one ice cream so probability of one given cold probability of one given cold from this two values we should identify the maximum right that is the Viterbi algorithm right here from the two values you have to find out the maximum okay so that we have to identify now so uh, when you are substituting the values you will get 0 0.005 for this you will get 0 0.064 the maximum among this both are 0 0.064 that is the v2 of 1 so this is the 0 0.064 v2 of 1 after that we have to calculate for v22 that is second day may be a hot also so for that we again we are having two possibilities so here we should identify the maximum of these two possibilities so v22 is maximum of first one we are taking this path okay v11 multiplied with probability of hot given cold 
from the cold he is reaching to current state h so current state given previous state cold after reaching here pattern is 1 he will consume one ice cream from where hot so one given hot then comma so one one path is over then second path possibility is this one probability of uh, first we will take v12 v12 then probability of current state hot previous state is also hot so current state hot and given previous state hot after reaching one uh, hot we will take one ice cream one given hot so we will substitute the values from that you will identify the maximum among this both so maximum value is 0 0.0384 so here this is over now the third pattern is 3 for that also we have to calculate the probability of cold or probability of h so first we will calculate for probability of cold v3 of 1 here uh, two possibilities are there again so two possibilities are here one is this one and another one is this one so first one is we will take this one probability of a cold given cold here v21 is there so v21 multiplied with so that's what given in this algorithm also right the previous values to be used the better be of s s comma t minus 1 that is the v of v2 of 1 we are taking v2 of 1 or v2 of 2 like that we are taking okay so here uh, we are taking that after reaching the cold state cold given cold then three ice creams will be consumed three given cold so uh, first path is over second path is this one so here uh, v22 is there v22 probability of cold given hot cold given hot probability of uh, three ice creams eaten after reaching the cold so three given cold right then you substitute the values from this given diagram then when you are substituting you will get the uh, maximum value is 0 0.00 three four five this value then for like that we have to calculate for probability of heart on the day three that is mentioned by v3 of two right v3 of two so here also two paths are there one is from cold state of previous day or another one is hot state from the previous day we have to consider both uh, so here we will take this one first v2 of one then probability of uh, hot current state previous state is cold so hot given cold after reaching co hot he is consuming three ice creams so three hot three given hot then comma another path is this one so v22 this one probability of current state is hot previous state is also hot hot given hot after reaching a uh, hot we will consume three ice creams so three given hot when you are substituting these values you will get a maximum among this both paths 0 0.0138 so that is the this one now we are at the final stage so we reach at the end so you check from this both which is the maximum value right the maximum value is here among this both we we have to check take this is the maximum value right v3 of 2 so v3 of 2 is hot so the for the pattern 3 on the day uh, 3 h right then here you have to select the maximum value which is the maximum value 0 0.064 this is belonging to uh, the state cold so for pattern 1 the hidden state found is c then go to the previous state so from this you got 0 0.32 so the 0 0.32 is this one hot so for the pattern 3 the hidden state is h so now we got the pattern hch for the give uh, i mean hidden state hch for the given pattern 313 so this is the maximum likelihood sequence for given pattern 313 hch so this is what uh, the better be algorithm is providing you uh, finally uh, with uh, for, with maximum likelihood state sequence for given any pattern thanks for watching